In this video, I will show you how to quickly and easily display all of the formulas that are active in your worksheet. You'll also learn how to highlight all cells that are referenced by a formula. First, let's look at how to display all active formulas. So here I am in Microsoft Excel. You can see I have a spreadsheet listing some of the best guards in the NBA with their statistics. Toward the bottom of the spreadsheet, you can see that there's some other data like their averages, the median scores, the standard deviations, etc. Now, when you receive a spreadsheet like this, sometimes it's hard to tell if what you're looking at is raw numbers, like what we see here, here, and here, or if it's a formula. So for example, here in this cell, if I click on it, I can see up here in the formula bar that this cell does have a formula in it. But instead of clicking on all these cells to discover where the formulas are, if you just want to display all of them at once, all you have to do is hold the control key and then tap the grave accent key. You'll find it immediately above the tab key. Just tap that and now look at my data. I can quickly see that all of the statistics that are found here below the data, all of those cells contain formulas. Over here on the right side, you can see that this entire balanced column is made up of formulas as well. And then of course you can click on a particular cell to see what the formula is all about. In this case, it's calculating if a player averages more than nine points, more than four rebounds, four assists, and more than one steal per game. And if so, it's saying that they're a balanced player. Now, as I click from cell to cell, notice that Excel is highlighting the data that is referenced in that formula. So this formula is drawing upon the contents of these cells. Let's try the same thing down here below. Let's look at the standard deviation for three point percentage. If I click on that, it highlights the data that is being referenced. When I'm done looking at the formulas in this Excel spreadsheet, all I have to do is hold control and tap the grave accent button again, and the spreadsheet goes back to showing the results of the formulas instead of the formulas themselves. Now there is one other way to highlight the cells that are referenced by a formula. If you don't need to actually see the formula itself, but you just want to see what cells are referenced by that formula, click on the cell that has the formula, hold the control key, and then tap the open square bracket key. And that will also highlight all of the data that's being referenced by the formula that you selected. Let's try it on the right. The formula that's producing the balanced player comment for Donovan Mitchell. Let's see what happens when we hold control and tap the open square bracket key. It shows where the data comes from that produces that result. So both of these techniques should come in handy as you're working with formulas and functions in Excel. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider clicking the thanks button underneath the video. Or you could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see links to those opportunities in the description below the video.